A major airline strike begins on Friday. We have uh, China doing major military naval drills with Russia, just as the Germans uh, decide to sail two warships through the Taiwanese Strait in, a, in an effort to provoke uh, China in the first time in 22 years. We have a Russian drone that has crashed apparently in Latvia, a NATO country. And yes, I am currently in Iceland. That and a whole lot more on today's updates. Let's jump into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And these are your updates that you guys are sending in from all over the world across the United States to keep us updated on what's going on out there. Please do keep them coming in. Just make sure you use the word update somewhere in your comment uh, on this video or on any video on this channel. Uh, we do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. They help people who have retirement accounts to, uh, to get their retirement into something safe like gold, silver, or platinum, uh, physical metals uh, that you can keep. Uh, when you take the distributions out of your retirement account, you actually get them in metals, not in, in funny money, right? So that's important. A lot of folks have uh, taken them up on that. If you want to talk to them and find out more about that, uh, please just uh, at the end of the video, there will be a link on the screen or you can go down the description down below. All right, Air Canada is bracing for the pilot strike to begin uh, to start canceling flights on Friday. So they're, um, they're anticipating that's going to begin. They're preparing to start canceling flights, flights as early as Friday. Uh, this is going to really, really impact a lot of people in Canada and all over uh, North America flying around. We got uh, Russian banks reporting that they are running out of yuan. Uh, so the U.S. sanctions on uh, Russia are really biting into China now. Uh, we're seeing that pretty, uh, pretty heavily. Uh, Russia running out of Chinese currency uh, is definitely going to bode ill uh, for their ability to uh, pay uh, for things uh, from China. But China and Russia are probably going to work together to kind of come to some sort of agreement to kind of sort that thing out. Uh, speaking of sanctions and Western powers against uh, China, Russia, um, two German warships uh, have just transited the uh, Taiwanese Strait. Uh, China really, really doesn't like it when the United States does this. It, it seems to like it even less when uh, small little countries do it. Sorry for the wobbling of the camera, but uh, uh, the wind is extremely strong here. Uh, there's just nowhere that is free from the wind. I thought this little hidey hole would be a, a little bit of a protection from the wind. I got some big rocks holding down the, the feet of this little flimsy tripod, so uh, we should be all right. Uh, but all this instigation going on out there, you just gotta have to wonder uh, what 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 would possess the Germans with just a few warships in their entire navy to hop in their ships and sail them literally all the way around the world to go provoke China. I mean, you just have to wonder like what's going through their heads. Why why would you do that? That just doesn't even make sense. Um, I mean, you don't have enough ships to protect your country. You don't have ships enough to protect Europe. Uh, so. They got that going on, and China and Russia, not in response to this necessarily, but Russia is having major naval exercises, and China has announced that they will be joining them. Uh, that is here in October, uh, sorry, the end of September, they're going to have those major uh, naval uh, drills. Also, that is going to be in the Sea of Japan, uh, so that's going down as well. We got Latvia. Uh, is out there accusing Russia of dropping one of their Shahad uh, drones. Uh, these are kamikaze one-way drones. They're basically a, uh, a very, very cheap cruise missile, right? I mean, they're like, they've got the little gas uh, motor on the back that just uh, gets it going real nice and slow, but uh, it gets it to its target oftentimes unless it is shot down. Um, but one of those uh, Shahad drones made in Iran apparently crashed in Latvia. Latvia uh, disarmed the warhead and then uh, uh, got the drone uh, pulled, uh, recovered. So they apparently do have the drone. Um, of course, some people are asking the questions of, you know, is this, is this a, a false flag? Are they trying to uh, paint Russia in some way? Or did this drone really just go astray? Uh, Latvia is not exactly anywhere near Ukraine. So it's kind of hard to imagine how that got there. Um, Latvia, it, you know, the, 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 
the Sawaki Gap between Russia and uh, between Belarus and Russia in Kaliningrad uh, is uh, through Lithuania. You go up north, a whole country, and you get to Latvia. There's uh, there's the Belarus border there. I mean, but there's there's nothing over there unless uh, Russia's been flying them through uh, Belarus again. And uh, but Belarus has shot down a couple recently. So maybe uh, these Iranian drones just really. <laughs> can't follow themselves. Uh, they can't really fly uh, more complicated routes, possibly. Uh, that might be what's going on with that. And as they went astray, maybe uh, that's why uh, Belarus was shooting those, those, uh, those uh, drones down, because they went astray. Um, all right, so we got the naval exercise in the Sea of Japan. Of course, Japan is not happy about that. Let's get into some of your updates that you have out there. Uh, Madam K says, uh, sponge and rubbery cucumbers. A bunch of you guys complaining about the, the produce out there, uh, including cucumbers. One was uh, fine and ate the, the other one, and then I spit it out. As soon as I bit into it, the texture was not right. It was all rubber sponge creepy. My dog refuses to eat the uh, Tyson chicken strips. It seems to be fake meat. He eats the uh, chicken I cook at home. Um, or um, a broad Ted uh, chicken with bone in. Wendy, update from Southern Colorado. There is already a shortage. Few loose potatoes are being sold only uh, in five pound bags. Uh, and the quality of those is poor. So very few five pound bags there in Colorado. Uh, Wings as Eagle says, I'm a gardener in Central Florida. I can testify that the bees have been non-existent here since spring. Uh, my garden was a complete flop and nothing was plant uh, pollinated as opposed to last year. This is Florida. Uh, you, you're able to grow year round. Last few days, they started to trickle back in, but in very small numbers, scary and very sad. A lot of you guys talking about the bee situation out there. We've been talking about that on this channel for a while. Uh, serious situations out there with, with, with no pollinators. And, uh, you know, why is that? Is it uh, the lines in the sky? Is it, uh, you know, some people have said it's the uh, uh, 5G networks and stuff like that that have uh, really had an impact on the bee population. Whatever it is, it is certainly impacting bee populations across the United States. We have a lot of hives that are uh, being lost. So... Uh, Landa says, uh, update, northern part of South Carolina. I went to the Aldi near me and was uh, completely shocked at the number of people shopping. Normally, this location is pretty quiet to steady, but yesterday the parking lot was very close to being full. Workers were restocking on both sides of the store. Uh, beef products were pretty lean, and the person restocking uh, was uh, doing chicken. Freestanding uh, freezer that holds a variety of products was pretty empty. Eggs uh, were somewhat st uh, stocked, but selling for $3.77 a dozen. That is insane. They were just going for like what, a buck 45 just a couple weeks ago. Uh, atmosphere also seemed tense. These folks did not seem to be the usual shoppers. Yeah, we have a lot of people that are moving from the more expensive stores over to uh, the discount stores like Aldi. And that is definitely uh, uh, something that's happening as uh, people are being impacted on the bottom line. Uh, their uh, budgets are down significantly and uh, people are having to go to stores that they are not used to going to. Uh, they're going to uh, shops and they're uh, buying discount food for the first time. A lot of folks, um, I mean, it's probably a good thing that people are saving money and everything, but uh, just definitely uh, people being forced into that is not a great thing. Uh, this is from Craig. Uh, update in Denver suburb, our grocery store has low or no supply of certain fresh poultry, mostly chicken. Uh, K Down says, uh, from my friend in Florida Panhandle, capital area, uh, potatoes only sold as a uh, single potato now uh, for almost $2 a piece. Uh, one week ago, people could buy full bags of potatoes, uh, none or shortage of uh, peppers, broccoli, and other fresh-grown foods down there in the Florida panhandle once again. Uh, Ron is uh, chiming in here. Uh, we just uh, went to Ohio Amish Bent and Dents. Uh, shelves were very low. A lot of uh, chips and candy and snacks, though, so uh, not the uh, nutritious food out there, uh, but rather uh, just chips and uh, snacks and, and those type of things. Uh, this is from P in Augusta, Augusta, uh, Georgia area. 
uh, russet baked potatoes are out of stock at two Sam's Clubs, and Costco uh, only had a few bags left in the bottom of the bin. They are smaller than normal for bakers. We're talking about how um, we really do have a shortage of potatoes out there developing, and uh, we're always starting to see that at some stores, uh, but not too many of them. Uh, if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to take the camera and uh, spin it around here, show you the white-capped uh, snow mountains around here, and uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful sight. I think you can see the waterfall over there in the corner. Uh, if not, it's a, it's a very pretty waterfall there, too. All right, uh, James says, uh, good morning, guys. Um, and this is a sad one, but uh, really uh, infuriating as well. Good morning, guys. When I lost my dad in, on September 6th, 2024, you know I found out that uh, the others, you know, from other places, uh, get free cremation provisions. So apparently the federal government is picking up the tab uh, for cremation for um, anyone who comes from illegally from overseas. Uh, as well as everything else in regards to losing a family member. I found this out with the funeral guy, funeral home guy that we worked with. He was a real decent person, but also wasn't afraid to say, you know, I, I wish you guys could uh, uh, have a break if you just hopped over the, the border and came back uh, when you had gotten everything for free, including your debit cards and all that. Uh, that was just uh, to lighten the mood because uh, that's something my dad would have said. And from Amy in Los Angeles, California. So prices on food are already higher than many places, uh, but recently eggs went from about $4 a dozen to $7. Now I'm paying an average of $40 per bag of food uh, and I'm not buying the top dollar stuff. Yesterday, I did switch to a bag uh, at yourself grocery store, and it was better, but still crazy. I'm seeing shortages now as well in the form of a very low stock and uh, rearranging rearranged shelves uh, to cover missing items. This is very scary. I recently started uh, adding to my food storage, and uh, thank you for reminding and urging us to add even just a can or a bag or two whenever we can. My finances are getting tighter each month, it seems, but I can and will add what I can each time I shop. Thanks, Steve. Uh, I, I know that a lot of people have been impacted positively by this community. Um, just the urge to get a little more prepared and to uh, take care of ourselves and our loved ones is something that uh, a lot of people aren't doing. There, there you can see the uh, waterfall now. Um, but this is just something that should be natural, uh, but is not happening in this day and age. People just assume that the, uh, the government will take care of them and that, uh, that we don't need to do any of that. So as you can see, just a, a beautiful slice of heaven down here uh, in Iceland or up here in Iceland. Um, the parking lot's not too far away. Uh, but uh, just the, uh, if you guys have a chance to come to Iceland, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Um, uh, obviously, a bunch of you guys are going to be asking the question, why in the world are you in Iceland? And uh, I'm going to be in a bunch of different places in the near future. Uh, this was a project that I kind of alluded to that I was kind of working on. Uh, this is going to be uh, primarily focused in on my Bible channel over at Poplar Bible Studies. Um, we're going to start posting videos there uh, from places that really align with the uh, Bible study over there. We're going to have a real special Bible study about going deeper in our walk. Uh, the secrets of God, uh, and how do we find them? How do we find a deeper relationship with Him? So uh, that would be a great one for those of you who uh, don't have a relationship with the Lord, uh, or it's been a long time uh, for you to hop in on that, or if you're still uh, walking with the Lord and you just want to grow in your faith, that's going to be uh, a great thing there too. And we're going to be seeing some very uh, powerful sights too uh, for this channel um, we're going to be, uh, I don't want to tip the tip my hand too much just yet, uh, but just suffice it to say, you're going to see some things on this channel that are going to be very, very relevant that, um, that you won't see on any other channel. Thanks so much for being part of this community, um, and uh, please do keep your updates coming in. If you want to find out more information from Genesis Gold, there's a link right there on the screen. I'll see you guys uh, at the other video up here, or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.